This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. So up to this point, we've stored our BitLocker recovery keys either in files here or like we printed it out. Well, if we have a lot of drives we're using BitLocker with, it can be tough to manage a lot of different files. We can lose files, misplace them, or if we're printing it out, we can lose papers or it can be tough to go through if we have an issue. There's a better way. We can store the recovery key in Active Directory. Now, this doesn't happen by default, so we need to configure group policy to make this happen. And when we do this, if we do have an issue where we have to recover a drive, we can just go to the computer account in Active Directory to get the recovery key. So it makes it pretty easy. So I'm on a domain controller. Let's go to Tools here. Group Policy Management. We could also configure this on a local group policy of a computer if we want to do it on a specific computer. And this is normally something we want to do ahead of time, before we start using BitLocker in our environment, because it's not retroactive, meaning if we have BitLocker drives that are already encrypted, and we configure this, it's not automatically going to store that recovery key in Active Directory. But going forward, once we configure it, and then if somebody uh, encrypts a drive with BitLocker, then it will be stored in Active Directory automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and let's look at our, our GPO, our group policy objects here. I'm going to change my uh, default domain policy. Let's go ahead and right click on it and edit it. And we're going to go into policies, administrative templates, Windows components, and BitLocker drive encryption. I'll just expand this out so we can see it. So I'm going to highlight BitLocker drive encryption. And the first place we can do it is to store BitLocker recovery information in Active Directory domain services. And you'll notice this is just for Windows Server 2008 and Windows Vista. So uh, if we're using those operating systems, then we want to configure this. Uh, we'd want to go ahead and enable it, require BitLocker backup to Active Directory. And a lot of times we do want to require it so that if somebody is not connected to our domain, then they won't be able to uh, use BitLocker until they're connected to the domain. That way we can ensure that uh, the recovery key is backed up properly. But again, this is just for Windows Server 2008 and Windows Vista. We can do it separately for our newer operating systems. You can see if I select Fixed Data Drives, we're going to select Choose How BitLocker Protected Fixed Drives Can Be Recovered. And we'll go ahead and enable this. And here you can see we can specify whether we want to allow a data recovery agent. We'll talk about that in a bit. Down here, configure storage of BitLocker recovery information to Active Directory domain services. We can back up recovery passwords only or recovery passwords and key packages. And if we take a look at this here, uh, if we choose to back up the key package also, the key package supports recovering data from a drive that has been physically corrupted. So if we want to protect against that, then we'll back up the key packages also. And of course, we do have to check this box, save BitLocker recovery information to Active Directory Domain Services. We can also check this box, do not enable BitLocker until recovery information is stored in Active Directory Data Services for fixed drives. This will ensure that before BitLocker begins, it's going to back up whatever we select here to Active Directory. And that's probably something we want. So I'll go ahead and enable this by clicking OK here. And we're going to do this for each drive type. We've got our fixed data drives, operating system drives, and removable data drives. And here it is. Choose how BitLocker operating system drives can be recovered. So same thing. We go ahead and enable it. And I'm going to go ahead and store the passwords and recovery key packages. Click OK. And also for our removable data drives, is if this is something that we want. So we'll go ahead and enable it. And click OK. 